What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another review here on the Sam Rose Sports Network. And today we're talking about the Miami Dolphins win against the Oakland Raiders. This is my third time trying to record this video in the past like 30 seconds. I kept fumbling up my words and, and fucking up and all, all that other stuff. Um, we're back with the face cam video. The light's a little weird. I apologize. You can see the big light up front, which is something I didn't really want. Uh, but it, it's giving light to the room. The, the bed's a little messy. Everything like that. All that stuff. Put that stuff aside. Uh, we're, we're back and ready to go. So we're back with the face cam. I do apologize, obviously, that the, there was no video yesterday. Obviously, lack of videos all of last week. If you didn't see my video on Saturday with my week three predictions, uh, then you wouldn't, I guess, know what's been going on. But I've been really sick pretty much. Uh, but now I'm back to back to full health and back to good I can talk again. I've been taking my freaking... I'm not going to show the the, the the thing, but I've been... Like, the, the stuff on it, but I've been taking my medication. It's done. It's it's out. It's over with. Uh, so, I, I'm good to go, and, I, and I'm back in business. So, the win. And I want to go specifically to this. So, let me, let me cut out my Brio really quick to show you guys this. I tweeted this yesterday, and I said, don't let this win distract you from the fact of three things. The Dolphins couldn't run the football yesterday. We need Rashad Jones back. And Xavier Howard's lockdown corner. Those were my three takeaways yesterday from the game. Immediately, 418. That's when the game was over. Thank you for turning back on, Brio. That's when the game was over. I, those were my three things. I in my head, I'm like, God, we need Rashad Jones back. We couldn't run the football today. And wow, Xavier Howard truly is a lockdown corner. And for those of you guys who don't know, if you don't watch my, if you don't look at my Twitter, if you're not on my Twitter, please go go onto my Twitter, check out my Twitter. You'll know. And I, I, I'll have someone that'll defend me in the comment section below here. I am one of the biggest. I guess Ryan Taylor supporters and Xavier Howard supporters on Twitter and especially Xavier Howard when everyone was thrashing him last year uh, at the beginning of the year I said listen it's gonna take time once they start letting him play press corner and he learns the NFL better he's going to be shut down now he is he, he's a shut down corner uh, but let's go from let's go from three one one to three so Dolphins couldn't run the football yesterday. That was my biggest thing that I saw. Out of everything that happened yesterday, my biggest thing that I saw was that the Dolphins could not get a running game. I don't think we had a rusher over 30 yards. I think Tannehill was two for 26 rushing, and that's, you know, that even doesn't really count. Uh, you could count the Albert Wilson thing as a 74-yard rushing touchdown. A lot of people are saying it's a run more than a pass. It is a shovel pass, so technically it's still a pass, but I guess you could count that as a 74-yard touchdown run, but that it was counted as a passing touchdown. But, yeah, th those are the things that kind of just – we couldn't run the football yesterday. It was pretty ugly. It looks like the Raiders' initiative and what they went into yesterday doing was we're going to come into Miami and we're going to lock down the run and make you beat us in the air. And the Dolphins did, and you got to give them credit for that. Tannehill played great. Even if you want to take away the shovel pass and the other stupid stuff and all this other crap, you want to say, dude, he just played average. He really did play great yesterday. His only bad throw was a missed touchdown, I believe, to Kenny Stills. Uh, on the right side, going down a streak. If he hit him perfectly, that's another touchdown there. And the Dolphins are rolling. That's the one he missed. And that was under a drive right before the half, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And that was it. The rest of the game, he looked superb. He looked very great. He was holding on to the football. He wasn't making bad decisions. His pocket presence was way better than it was the first two games. And it was great. We saw what we wanted to see. And it, it was good. The offense was clicking, though, despite the run game. So just kind of going into the offense. The offense was clicking. The trick plays were working. Albert Wilson threw a perfect throw in stride to Jakeem Grant. Grant made the rest of the magic work there, and that scored a touchdown. It seems like the offense is explosive, and it's what Adam Gase wants it to be. Further video on that tomorrow, by the way. It'll be kind of interesting, and I want to get your guys' take on the topic of tomorrow's video, but you know, I'm going to wait till tomorrow, obviously. Uh, so the second thing is Rashad Jones. You can tell in that first drive, the Raiders were going after Minka Fitzpatrick, and he looked lost. He was playing slot corner most of the time. He was in those nickel packages that the Dolphins don't really even play a lot of in the first place. And Minka looked lost playing just strictly safety. And it makes sense. He he hasn't been playing just safety and, you know, you need him back there. So he'll learn. He will learn. But it, it seemed as of yesterday that we need Rashad Jones back. He is that thumper, that coverage, run-stopping, safety guy that we need there. So... I would hesitate, I guess. That's why I kind of moved it to two and not one as the main priority. But we do need him back. Uh, he's an anchor of the defense, especially the secondary. And he brings a lot of swagger to the group, honestly. He makes the defense, the defense, blah, the defensive secondary what it is. <laughs> and the last one, which I already mentioned at the beginning, is Xavier Howard is a lockdown corner. He's been playing lights out. I think right now it's a 26.8 passer rating that he's allowing right now. He allowed Amari Cooper only to two catches on 17 yards. 
There were a couple drops on Amari Cooper. You, you, you can't, you know, not look at that. But he was shutting down Amari Cooper, and he was doing his part. It seemed like Cooper was not in the game at all yesterday, and he just looked lost. It, it was insane. He had two... That one throw, first of all, Derek Carr, what the hell was that? That throw in triple coverage, even if it wasn't overthrown, that's a pick, most likely. There's no way that comes that that that's a completion. Horrible throw. And then when Carr got lit up and Xavier Howard, that was a huge pick. Gave the Dolphins all the momentum at that point. And, and at that point, the game was over. But hope you guys did very much enjoy this video. Guys, as always, please make sure to check out Dolphins Talk dot com uh, i am going to be on their podcast i mentioned all the time I'll, I'll be there pretty soon so i uh, look forward to that i'll be pulling that on my twitter guys go down below you'll find out dolphinstalk.com great podcast great articles they got a guy i can't remember his, i know his name is anthony i think it's anthony saba if i'm yeah anthony saba go follow him on twitter he does great analysis on the dolphins play by play by play by play on his youtube channel uh he has it on the website for dolphinstalk.com he does on twitter he does a great job explaining things so if you're a fan of the Dolphins, but you don't really understand costs and stuff like that, he's great at it. A lot of his stuff is on DolphinsTalk.com. And if you're watching on DolphinsTalk.com, uh, come and check out my YouTube channel. Click the YouTube button. We're on the way to 1,000. We did have a week of a bump where we couldn't upload anything, so it was going downhill a little bit there. Uh, we weren't losing a lot of, ra of rappers. We were losing a lot of subscribers. Um, I'm just trying to check right now. We're at 294 or 254. So we're super close and, you know, I just, I can't wait to get there. So hope you guys did very much enjoy this video. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and as always, peace. Also, I hope the audio is fixed in this video.